thank you so much for tuning in so if it is your first time welcome 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 if you are returning thank you so much for tuning in once again so yeah today we're not going to be doing a lesson we are going to be discussing career choices and particularly a career choice that I'm familiar with because I'm in. So yeah, we're going to be discussing environmental science, all things environmental science in that field. So yes, um, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment, to subscribe and to tell everybody, you know, because this really could help someone who was sort of confused about what they want to do after the trip. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is what is environmental science okay so as the term kind of gives an idea it has to do with the environment so in a nutshell environmental science is the study um studying the interaction between humans and their surrounding environment basically humans and the earth as well as the interactions between living organisms like animals um, plants, how they interact with each other, how ecosystems interact with each other, you know, all of those things. Basically, how the earth functions <laughs> and how we fit into that. Because I know we like to exclude ourselves, but we are deep within that cycle. So that is basically environmental science. Environmental science is very broad. <laughs> Till today they are I'm learning new things about it because that is how broad it is you know so environmental science can be anything that has to do with geography that has to do with ecology that has to do with zoology botany um, that has to do with geology so earth <laughs> anything to do with the earth and its organisms that is environmental science in a nutshell so <laughs> i'm going to tell my story and how i ended up here so when i was 17 i did an expo project and long story short that expo project sort of gave me the idea that actually i want to do this for the rest of my life you know um it was about water and i really wanted to save you know the earth i wanted to conserve the water i wanted I, I really was wondering like why are we in this situation so yeah so 17 year old me thought this course is going to be so cool they're going to be teaching us how to reduce reuse recycle i'm going to be making posters telling people about like how to save the earth that is literally what i thought um, yeah, I, I thought it's just gonna be one big, you know, fun fest where you make posters and you go out and tell people to recycle and you find ways, obviously, on how to minimize negative impacts on the earth. And we were telling people about deforestation and stopping people from cutting down trees. I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. Um, yeah, uh, but I don't think did that in my undergrad i don't think i did anything to do with telling people to cut down trees but yeah anyways so that's my story in a nutshell do i love environmental science of course of course and i think the passion and the love is what kept me going because i won't lie it's not an easy course but if you're passionate enough and you're, if you want to do it you will you will find the strength and the means to get through it so yeah that is oh yeah i'm gonna be looking down a bit because i wrote notes so i don't ramble talk about things and yeah so what you need to know the requirements for to be to be uh to do environmental science as you know uh, a study as you know is first of all there are different types of degrees that are within the environmental science field. It could be a BSc, it could be a BA, and it could be a diploma, a national diploma. So depending on which route you want to take, that qualification will sort of, you know, um, oh, route, at, also your, your marks will sort of dictate which one you would go to. I did a BSc, I did BSc environmental science. 
So the subjects that you need for this um, degree is maths, physical sciences, life sciences. Those are the recommended ones. Well, physical science and life sciences sort of recommended because it varies. Because I went, I attended class with people that had never done life sciences before. And I had attended class with people that have never done physical science before. The physical sciences one, I'm still, I, I still don't know, but I, I think, yeah, physical sciences is a requirement. If I look at most um, university perspectives, physical sciences and maths is a requirement, life science as well, and, and geography, it helps. But I would like to think those first two that I mentioned are requirements. And each university varies and each course varies in terms of your percentages. For example, I know at UCT, you need 70% for your maths and you need 60% for physics. That's UCT, whereas at UP, you need 60% for both your maths and physics. So it varies and your APS, all those things varies. So yeah, you could just look at that if you want more information. And what, oh, okay. Yeah, I've mentioned the BSc. The requirements for a diploma are slightly lower and if you don't qualify for a BSc you can always do a diploma or if the stream that you want to take requires a diploma then do it because I know for example if you want to go into environmental health which is sort of in environmental science but more in the health faculty you can do a diploma in that and you can also do a diploma in nature conservation so there's various um degrees and diplomas depending on which route you want to take in environmental science so yeah i've discussed that and something that is very important that i didn't really think was important when i was in matric is that the type of you the not the type the university that you go to it's important to look at their course outline before you just register or something because university a and university b although they might be they might both be environmental science but the modules that you do are a bit different so i'm going to give an example at uwc it's called um environmental and water science yeah and i looked at their modules their modules are mostly geology type of modules as well as you know your environmental and your biology but they have a lot of geology modules whereas if you're doing it at uj for example and you're doing let's say the majors i did geography and environmental management if you're doing those majors there's zoology there's chemistry there's maths you know all these other courses whereas the one i did at Nelson Mandela University, I didn't do um, chemistry or maths, I did geology. So the structure is different, you know, each university has a different structure. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend going to that university because it's the best university, whereas the course structure isn't in line with what you want to do. So look at that. Yeah, so that's just some advice that I would give you. And then, <laughs> I think that's it for the first part. That is it for the first part. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to be continuing with a part two. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and ask. And I will gladly, gladly answer because this is something I'm familiar with. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye!